Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're gonna be doing a full face of Wet n Wild makeup. So if you wanna see how I got this look, then keep on watching. We're gonna get started with this full face of Wet n Wild. Pretty much everything I owned already and I just had to go out to CVS yesterday and get two more things. So they had this matte primer which I think I've tried in the past. I don't really remember my opinion on it. It said online that they had a brow pencil that was like the skinny one. They said that they had it in stock, but all they had were the thicker point ones, like the defining one, which I personally kind of will use to fill in, but definitely for shaping them, I always like to go in with the skinnier point. So that was a little disappointing. I feel like I pretty much have everything to do a full face. The only thing I don't have is blush. Just because, I don't know, the blushes, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not trying to say I'm like mocha, but I do have a little bit of a tan and the blushes just, they are looking a little bit too light. For now, I'm gonna get started. Oh, no. Okay, the primer is already a fail. I don't know why I thought the primer was like a silicone one or something. Are we sure this is gonna be matte? I'm gonna put it on the brows too, just cause my brows always get pretty oily. And I'm gonna start with the brows. Yeah, I'm not sure about this primer. I did not, maybe I had to shake it up. No, it's pretty liquid. <laughs> I mean, I do look a little matte. It definitely, okay, it feels kind of dry. I have a couple of powders. I'm just gonna go in with this contouring palette on the brows, the banana shade because I always like to have some sort of powder. I feel like it helps them last longer. Okay. And if I have to cheat and use another product, I will let you guys know. I feel like this brow, honestly, if I just filled in the tail a little bit, like I could get away with... He's pretty full. I don't know where all this hair grew from. This one, he's going through it as always, but it's fine. I also have my lips moisturized. I'm just going to use this stitch lip gloss. I was gonna use this as like my final lip, which I might, but I also have something else that I might try. So I'll just put this on for now. So let's try out this pencil. I got the shade Dark Brown. Pretty nice. So it's really easy to apply, but it's just not how I like to do my brows. Like I like them to be nice and shaped. And I mean, I think if you work long enough with this, you could probably can get it to be something. And it also seems like when I try to blend it out, it kind of just all goes away. So I have to keep going back and filling in what I just basically took off. I like to have a little arch in there and it's just kind of hard to get it. So I'm gonna use a different pencil just so that I can at least get it to look a little bit how I want it to. I feel like it doesn't look terrible. Let's move on to the other brow. Okay, I mean, I did have to cheat a little bit and use my skinny brow pencil from L'Oreal, but it honestly doesn't look that bad. The, the two of them work together pretty nice. And what's kind of surprising is I always use a pomade. Like, I can't remember the last time that I did my brows without a pomade. So, oh, you know what else I have too, actually? The Brow Sess of Brow Gel. So we'll use that. It's just a brow shaping gel and it's a clear one. Set these babies. Okay, I'm happy the brows are slapped on. Now we are gonna move on to the face. I have this tinted hydrator, but I think it's gonna be a little bit too light. This is the shade Medium Tan. I'm just gonna use this little concealer brush and I have another thing. Yeah, it's looking a little bit too light, but maybe I'll just put it kind of like underneath my eyes for a little brightening situation. You know what? I have a couple of bronzers. We'll, we'll darken this back up. And this concealer I have is actually pretty dark. This is the, is this the photo focus? Color focus? Photo focus. This is the shade medium deep tan. So this is more of my shade in my opinion right now. I'm just going to put it up here to make it darker. This is almost empty. I was going to say during the summertime, I don't really like to wear that. Oh, I hope that primer dried. Oh no, I don't like that. Right here, I didn't even see that. This is the primer. I don't like that. Oh no. 
But anyways, what I was going to say was during the summertime, I don't like to wear that too much makeup. Like normally I spot conceal, but if we're going to be honest, I'm like that any time of the year. But I think if anything, actually during the summertime, I wear less makeup than the winter. Just because I love the natural summer tan glow. I think it's really pretty. And so I'll just go in with a little bit of concealer, usually in this little triangle area of my face because my upper lip is always dark. My chin sometimes has redness or darkness and around the nose might be a little red. My forehead, I do have a little bit of discoloration like right here just from there was a pimple and it turned into a scab that kind of just came off. So I'll try to put a little bit of concealer on that. I mean, it doesn't bother me. It might bother other people. <laughs> and then I also have a little bit here. But really on the forehead, I kind of just skip. A lot of the time it's darker than the rest of my face. So matching it is kind of hard and it might just look a little bit weird. Tinted hydrator, it's not bad. It's definitely like coverage. It's basically like a tinted moisturizer. And yeah, if it was a darker shade, I would have put it more all over. I guess I'll use this Bare Focus. I know it's very light. I'm just going to put it under my eyes a little bit. This is the Clarifying Finishing Powder. And I'll go a little bit around my nose. I'm going to use this one more all over. This is the Photo Focus Banana Powder. I have a couple of different bronzing and contouring options here. So one of my favorite bronzers that I've talked about before is the Color Icon What Shady Beaches bronzer. The only reason I'm not going to use it is because it has sparkly like, glitter in it, shimmer. So I think if you're going to the beach or you're on vacation, it's perfect for that. But for today, it's because I just don't want to have shimmer and everything on my face. I'll probably go to the gym later. I'll keep this face on. But one bronzer I've been using a lot is this one with the Care Bears collab they did. And this one is so pretty. This is the shade Live, Laugh, Hug. I, no, I think there's only one shade of this, actually. Maybe. I don't... Yeah, I think so. Oh, it's so pretty, though. I love it. This is more of, like, a matte bronzer. I also have the Stitch one. But the problem with this Stitch one is that I don't want to use it. And it's kind of something that, like, I want to co collect, I guess. Or... I don't know. I don't know how to explain what I want to do with it. It's so beautiful. Maybe I'll use one of the highlights in it, even though I said I didn't want shimmer, but maybe. Wet n Wild does have this on their website again. Um, I think Ulta kind of gave up because their whole release was very messy. I talked about that with the PR box that they had, they were selling. They had the wrong images, so the stuff that was featured on the website you didn't get in the box. So I felt kind of bad for Ulta because that was a nightmare, I'm sure, for them. And they haven't put they haven't put the collection back on their website. I think I'm pretty bronzed. If you don't want to use this for highlight, another one I would recommend. This said it's limited edition, but I'm pretty sure it's still available. Well, this is the Mega Glow Highlighting Gold Bar. As you can see, I dug into it kind of good. <laughs> I really need to go to Walmart and get Zoat Soap. That's what I use to clean my brushes all the time. Okay, I don't want that much though. Don't get carried away. Just a little bit. Put a little bit on the nose. Pretty. And then something else that I had thought about doing, which I'll do right now. I think the only thing I have for like eye shadow type, this little, this is another gold thing. Oh, it's a glitter single. So this is the shade Toasty. It's really pretty for the Christmas time, winter time. Or really anytime if you want some type of gold pigment, these things are really nice. So I'm just going to take this little Aloha shade and just go all over my eye with it just to kind of neutralize my eye area. And y'all know I don't really like doing eyeshadow. I have been, I don't really see why I wouldn't be able to talk about this, but Online Makeup Academy reached out to me and asked if I'd be interested in like taking their classes and making a video about it. So I've actually been sitting here, like I've been back in college and watching these videos of like makeup application and learning about makeup and all this stuff it's definitely very informative and i'll talk more about it when i have to do the video i could have used that sponge to blend my makeup but i didn't want to use stitch i didn't want to get him dirty he's just been sitting on my vanity on his surfboard okay what else do we have to do now for eyes i really haven't been doing eyeliner that much so i'm just gonna go on the top lid just a little light 
line i like doing that just because it makes your lashes look more fuller after you put mascara on i'm gonna use the stitch flying high mascara the left eye always looks nicer he's always so much more fuller actually you know what i have to say the left side of my face in general is just serving my face if you look from at me from the left and you look at me from the right, it's two different people. I don't notice it, obviously, looking in the mirror. I know this might make me sound a little crazy, but a lot of the time I like to take pictures to see how my makeup looks, how my hair looks, especially if I do a bun. You know, I want to see if the back of my hair got like a bump in it or how my hair looks from the side or something. And I'm like, I don't know who that person is from the right side. A lot of the time when I have Instagram pictures, it's always my left because I don't know who this is over here. I think it's really my favorite mascara, I guess, to use. I thought I liked it at first. It don't really give lengthening or anything. It kind of just made them like short little stubs. I'm going to take off this lip. This is the Clown Pout Marshmallow Lip Mousse in the shade Marshmallow Madness. It's a really pretty formula, but I don't know if I want to wear this color. Smells good too. It's not terrible. I think it's pretty. Very soft and nice feeling. And I think to finish off this look, I'm going to go in with the Stitch Hydrating Setting Mist. A lot of the stuff from the Stitch line obviously smells like coconuts, and I just hate coconut smelling things. Let's put the hair down. I think we did everything. Just have to clean off the mascara. We'll fix the hair a little bit to the final look. I think it's super pretty. I do wish I had a little bit of blush just to add some color back into his face, but I like how it turned out and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.